Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Kevin and Robin here, and uh, I'm behind a mess of wine. What's going on? Oh man, this is the most exciting week for me. I love Northern Italian Clearly. wines, and uh, Palassa is my newest favorite thing we've got to the shop. I think it's the most gratifying thing, right, is when you get new stuff in and you get to introduce people to brand new wines that have like never been in Alberta or maybe even Canada before, especially when they're really exciting things like this. And mostly affordable things like this, right? Oh my gosh, yeah. It's easy to get the high-end sort of expensive stuff in, but I get really excited when I can introduce people to grape varieties that I love from regions that I really love at prices they can actually afford to grab a mess of wine. Mm -hmm. So what do we got? Where do you want to start? I feel like we got uh, we got oh, some man. work to do here. Okay, well let's start by talking about Palasa first of all, because that is right. really the reason behind why there we is. made the pack and what we're featuring for the week. All these beautiful labels. Beautiful labels. I love them. Um, Palasa's little quote, if you look on their website, is the romantic wines of Italy, and I think their labels reflect that, and when you pour it in the glass, they are really, like, super pretty, elegant, but just like wine for the people. Like, they're really enjoyable. Yeah, so if you don't drink a lot of wine from Piedmont, the one thing you should know is that it's a very expensive place to make wine, right? So you've got Barolo, Barbaresco, you've got some of the most famous regions. You're up kind of high in the foothills as you're going into the Alps. It's very expensive vineyard land. Everything is on specific slopes, right? There's not a lot of land up there, and uh, it's some of the most famous wines in all of Italy that come from there. So for us to get wines in there that we can actually afford, that aren't like 70, 80, 90 bucks, but more like 30 or 25, that's awesome for us because we're Nebbiolo lovers. It's a great variety that I really like to drink, but it's one I can't always afford to drink on, say, a Wednesday night. A hundred percent. And I think that's the most exciting thing about the entry-level wines for them, the Mario's label. So you've got the white there, you've got yeah. the red right down here. Fun label. Um, do you know kind of the story behind the bike and why it's on here? I feel like I did, but now I feel like I forgot. <laughs> so why don't you remind me and everyone else? So I loved it and I loved reading about it. So Mario, when he actually started the vineyards, he started in 1960. But about 10 years before, when he was only 10 years old, um, he shares a little story about you know having to start helping out on the farm and with the vineyard yeah. land for his family and taking little flasks of Nebbiolo on his bike to drive them into town um, for his family, which I thought was super cute. That's awesome. And I love the bike. It's such a great label. Um, and they've done some interesting things with these blends. I wasn't quite sure about these blends because the red is a bit of Neb, a bit of Cab, and Merlot, right? Great varieties you don't normally see. Some Barbera in there too. Yeah. Super fun. So we don't normally see those grape varieties blended together, but they made this work so well. It kind of smells to me like that prettiness of Nebbiolo, but then it's got that nice sort of richness and kind of fruit style of Cab, which I love. I thought it was really well made. And the white, I mean, mm -hmm. this is summer in a bottle. If you're trying to capture these last like few days of summer right now, this is absolutely what you need. It's got a little splash of Arnaise in there. Some Arnaise and uh, Favorita, because it's your new Favorita wine. Oh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> So really fun summer wines, and these go for what, 20? 24 bucks. Oh, that's an awesome deal. You get a little taste of Piedmont for that. My favorite in here, probably can't talk about all these because we only have 10 minutes, but I will talk about this guy a little bit. So this is a blend of Nebbiolo and Barbera. Mm -hmm. And you don't often see those guys together, but what I love about this is you really get all those aromatic complexities of Nebbiolo, and then you get kind of the freshness and richness of the Barbera that kind of balances out the palate. So it's not dry the way Nebbiolo can be sometimes, yeah. but if you're a Barolo fan, but you need like that Thursday night, Wednesday night fix of uh, Nebbiolo. 100% the way to go. You really got to try this. It's absolutely spectacular. They also do a straight Nebbiolo, which is definitely a little step up in complexity, but this is one that probably needs a little bit of food on the table. It's a little more serious wine. That goes for 37 And then they've got, a, they've got a Barbera as well, which I think is fantastic. It's more of a traditional style Barbera, and by that I mean you get lots of spice, lots of earthiness. It's really like a delicious wine. Again, probably want a little food. And even do a little Barolo, which uh, we pulled the cork on last week. Ooh, so good. It's really good. <laughs> and, and pretty approachable for uh, considering the vintage of 2016 was really one of the best years in a long time in Barolo. It's showing well already. So, yes, it'll go well in the cellar, and it's 65 bucks, so it's a little more of a serious wine. But, man, if you're looking for something special on a Saturday night, Go. Looks like you went uh, to town on a pack. Went to town on a pack, yeah. So we wanted to stick with Northern Italy as a theme. We did the south side of Italy last week, so I thought right. it was kind of a fun approach to really get you know the whole experience of the country. Um, but the other one that we didn't mention is Nebbiolo Rosé that comes uh, from there. Now that is the best rosé I've had. 
in a long time. That is crazy <laughs> good. I, I thought this label was so beautiful. The package was so nice. The color of the wine was beautiful. I was so excited when I tasted it and it that, that matched up. The nose is so Nebbiolo. It's got that beautiful kind of violet rose petal thing going on. But the palette and the texture is really yeah. spectacular on that. I mean, it, it's really like beyond rose. It's, it's not just like you know, backyard uh, patio time. This is like a wine you can do a serious meal around. Salmon's yeah. like definitely coming to mind. But there's so many things you can do with that. It's a, it's a real food wine. And another one of my favorite whites in there. Little Rosas Bianco. Yeah, that's such a unique wine, right? It's the only version of this grape variety uh, that I know of right now being made in Piedmont. It's, it's got tons of texture. It's just such a pretty, like, unique wine, right? Like, I don't know if it tastes like anything else. Yeah, it's like citrusy, a little herbal, a little almond. It's like, it's really, really interesting. And it's one that you could age a little bit, too, should you want to or have better restraints than myself. I make, keep drinking mine. But. Yeah, make it for the weekend anyway. I'll age it all week long. <laughs> You threw a little Marengo in there. I did. Marengo's a classic for us, right? So, I mean, we were just talking about Barolo. It is one that if you are going to get into it um, right away, you know, certainly decant it, put it with some yeah. food. But if you want, like, something a little bit more special, that's one that you can, you know, pick up the pack, save 25 bucks on the whole lot, and then um, sock that downstairs for a couple of years. Yeah. Or, you know, get a little something on the barbecue on the weekend, and that would be too. <laughs> And then you snuck this one in. I knew you'd, I knew you'd try to fit that one in somewhere because I know how much you like it. I do. Uh, Bischof Slayton is actually the uh, vineyard. Thank you. I've been practicing. <laughs> but Schiava is the grape. And I love this one. I love to pop it in the fridge and chill it down a little bit. It just yeah. adds a bit of like freshness and juiciness, um, really kind of lifts the fruit component to it and softens the acidity. This is a really, really fun little wine. And then, of course, from Alto Adige, um, and same with Castel Salad. We did the Pinot Grigio in there, too. Oh, I snuck that in there, too. Yeah. All right, a couple from Salig. Salig's a winery that we've been working with for probably 20 years, and I love their wines. They're, they make Pinot Grigio interesting. That's how good they totally. are, right? And the Bishop Slayton is a really, really interesting wine. If you haven't had Scavia before, it's a neat grape variety, mm -hmm. lots of color, lots of spice, mm -hmm. but it's really light on its feet. If you're a bit of a wine geek and like to try all the grapes, don't miss Scavia. It's a fun one. And you're a bit uh, of a wine geek. The whole pack, really. I mean, we've got yeah. Nebbiola Rosé, Rosés, Schiava. What's the pack going for? Uh, 185. 185, and you knock 25 bucks off that, so yeah. good deal. And you get to taste some cool stuff. So. Speaking of deals, what's oh, happening yeah. next week? We got a bit of a sale going on, don't we? Mm -hmm. Big sale going on. So that starts on Wednesday here, but Tuesday at the university. You got it, and Tuesday online as well. So if you are going to be shopping. Um, through our website, we will have a number of door crashers that usually are only in store, yeah. uh, but we're going to pop them online as well this time. Nice touch, because there's some killer deals in door crashers I saw this year, so you're going to save like 25-30% on some of those, so there's some yeah. amazing buys in there, so jump online and have a look at those starting on Tuesday, and we'll live into your house for free, and it doesn't get any better than that, so have a look, and if not, come down on sale day, because you always know we have some fun stuff.